Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas part four. You're not stick bending yet. <laughs> Ready for the jeep. <laughs> This morning we are in the car. No shit, Sherlock. We are. Really, on I our thought way. we were uh, on the train. We are on our way down to London, and this is like we've been set free. I can't remember the last time Mike and I did something like this. I can actually. It was July. School um, in the There's back. nobody in the back. We've left Riv at home with the lady that helps us with our childcare, so she's kind of like already in our little bubble. bubble. Um, so she's actually staying for the night, which she's never done before, and having Riv overnight, which Riv is so excited about. We left her making jewellery on the kitchen table and she was just beyond excited. So um, we're all having a little uh, festive hangout, chill out, good weekend, hopefully. Um, we're on our way down to London to sort a couple of things out. Firstly, we're going to go to the flat and make sure it's kind of ready for winter, put all the heating on and that, that stuff and just have a really nice night, just the two of us. We're going just out for lunch, we're going out for dinner. I've actually got something secret planned for Mike. Shall I tell him? Shall no, I tell him? I'm gonna no, tell him. No, I'm gonna tell him. I wanna see the sign. I wanna see it when it's time, uh, at the time. Surprise! Well, let's tell me now, I'll surprise It's not room. like, I, I'm not getting you what we're going to look at. No, but we're just going to look at something, so I don't know okay. what it is, but at least at the time, you're like, surprise, this is the surprise. Can I'm anyone like... guess? Okay. Great. Thanks. Okay. You know what is super sad, though? You're upside down. Is that, um. You know what we can do? We what? can leave the sunroof open because she gets so frustrated in the car when yeah, you get sunroof. Like the sunroof. <laughs> The little things, the little things. The little things. <laughs> you know what's sad though, like genuinely I would have liked to have brought her to London with us and taken her to Hamley's, but because of Covid, she just doesn't get, like I trust us going to London because... You trust us, me I trust us. good luck with that. <laughs> We're just, like you know, as an adult, you know what to touch, what not to touch, you wear a face mask, you sanitise your hands, but um, Riv doesn't really get that. Although she did do a really good lesson at nursery the other day where they had like a uh, video all about coronavirus and it taught her all about germs and she came home chatting. Yes, mummy, the germs make you cough and sneeze. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, so she's getting better. She's getting better at kind of like, if you say, no, don't touch that because it might have germs on it. She kind of gets that. Remember, I don't, so I don't want the no germs. No touching. And remember, no touching. That's a new thing. Just no touching. So we have arrived in London. We are just doing a few things in the flat, and then we're heading out. I thought we would do a little bit of an outfit of the day. I haven't done one of these in a while. It's all black, so you can't really see it that well. But basically, I have on this belt, which is from the Couples, which I bought. I think earlier this year, maybe oh, like springtime. It was in a sale, so it's not current. Oh, <laughs> your hand sanitizer, SARS. And then I have on a little crop jumper, which actually came with a set that I got last year from All Saints. And then this dress is, this dress with the skirt even, um, is from Marge, which I got in Vista Village. It was last year, um, last year's style, but basically it was super, super expensive at the time. And I was like, I don't, don't want to spend that much money, and then I found it at Mr. Village, super happy. And then my Chanel chain boots, like that. And then I have my black leather jacket, and then the bag that I brought with me, my baby! I haven't used it in ages. My little Chanel um, Gabrielle blackout chevron. I love this bag so much. Um, and I haven't used it, I don't think, I genuinely don't think I've used it since March because of lockdown, so I thought I'd bring it for a little outing. So we have come to Marlebone High Street and I actually bought this mask with me, which is so pretty, it's Vampire's Wife one. It's so annoying, because these thrills, frills, thrills, frills, go up into your eyes and you basically can't see anything. Um, well, at least so... you can see your face, you can't see mine. <laughs> Like like basically, where's Mike gone? Where is he? I don't know. Pink so camouflaged. Um, just having a little mooch. We just been into Lululemon to look at jackets Mike definitely doesn't need because he has 564 of them. And well, might need 565. <laughs> and the best part is we've even driven past where I'm taking Mike and he still hasn't guessed what it is. Oh, they have decorations. We're missing, we're still missing three little critters for the tree. And they have some in here. I think we have a winner. <laughs> the most 
extravagant mouse also found a festive camel in the white company. I'd say, is it reindeer? Because I, I didn't like, see it. Some, no, it's, it's, I'm sorry, but it's a funny looking camel, isn't it? Yeah, but it's it? definitely got a hump on its back, and reindeers do not have humps <laughs> on the back. And it's got no antlers. I so mean, it's, it's a, a funky looking festive camel. He still has not guessed. I mean, it's getting to this point where I'm like, Telephone? are you actually, have you guessed yet? Have you guessed? We do have one already. So. Yeah, but what's just coming out? Oh, the running machine. We're going to try out ah. the Peloton running machine. Exciting. Excited? You can't tell because you just can't see anything on my face. Good surprise? I mean, ah. pretty good surprise. I've got the world's sweatiest face <laughs> after wearing a face mask on a running machine. So basically, what I had organised that I didn't say before is um, obviously taking Mike's puzzle on, they have the new treadmills. Basically to test it out, as you probably know, we talk about them all the time, like we are big Peloton fans Peloton. and essentially they're launching treadmill on the 26th on Boxing Day, which is annoying, so you couldn't have it for Christmas, so that's going to be your Christmas present. God, Santa's pretty good this year, coming <laughs> early. <laughs> Super <laughs> early and are you happy? Do you like it? It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, think I didn't actually run on it because well. I've got my boots on, but... I think it would have been quite funny to see you run on it. <laughs> This as well, guys, is one of my favourite shops in London. Oh my god, there's more animals, Mike. They're literally following us around. All the animals. I mean, guys, the terrible vlogging strikes again. We uh, totally just ate it. <laughs> We're at the Ivy for lunch. I had lobster, ravi uh, not ravioli, linguine, and it was delicious. What did you have? Some kind of curry. Delish. We're at the Ivy Cafe in Marlebone, um, which is a really, it's a little one actually. It's like a tiny little one on the back street, but nice place to stop for a little festive lunch. They always do Christmas really well. They always have really nice decorations and a really nice festive menu. You went so festive with your menu. I went so festive with my menu and I also went festive with my grapefruit g and No, it's very summery, but delicious. So we just ordered some uh, double espressos and they, <laughs> I think these are like quadruple. Cheers. Wired. It's gonna be wired. Claridge is at Christmas guys. So festive. So we've just been for a little bit of a mooch kind of down Bond Street and then we like took a bit of a detour to avoid lots and lots of people but the weirdest thing ever actually is is probably that. Did you, did you <laughs> not just see that? <laughs> no idea it was like a macarena. In, uh, I um, mean that was the weirdest thing ever. Yeah, um, but the weirdest, second weirdest thing was the fact that we just bumped into one of our, well, a couple that's like our, one of some of our best mates in the street in London. Literally never happens and it's probably the first time, it's the first time we've been down here together for like ages and ages and we literally like just bumped year. into them we're like, what the hell? It's a small world. Yeah, it was so nice to see them. Completely unexpected. And we're now having a little mooch up South Molton Street, which is a little less busy, but these lights are always my favorite. It's a shame because it's not dark yet, you can't really see them, but when it's dark, they're so pretty. We're driving back along Marlebone High Street. I can't, like seriously, this stuff doesn't translate to camera because you can see the lights, but it's not quite dark enough on camera yet. But look how pretty the sky is. Such a nice evening. And it's actually, I think we're leaving right about the right time because when we were here this morning it was super quiet and now it's getting a bit bustly and so we are nothing tapping wrong with out and bustle. well a bit covidy for, a bit COVID -y for us yeah. bit covidy so we are gonna head back and have a nice chilled out time yeah go for supper and chill a bit. out and go out for some dinner it's very exciting to be in Half london three. it's, it's, we it's just want. weird to be like back out again i don't know do you not think no like after being i mean yeah but i'm at work every day yeah but so yeah I'm i guess mike goes to work whereas i'm like different. in the house all the time it's like being out whoa look at those fire pits i want to eat there um but yeah it's such actually such a nice evening in london i think we should go for a walk around so pretty look at this sky it's like ice cream guys i'm currently not impressed with mike because i sat here looking at these donuts in the window mike's like yeah they just don't tempt me at all. I'm like, um, hello, Terry's chocolate orange donut. Bueno donut. 
crazy man. Literally look like the tastiest. But you know some of them are vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like the tastiest thing ever. But Mike's like, no, not into it. I, 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 used, it. I, I yeah. always used to like Winter Crispy Cream. It's just original. I was an original guy. And vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Just a vanilla What's ice cream kind of guy. Just being classic. Having a little mooch around Notting Hill now because we thought it would be a little bit quieter. And it is really nice. This is so nice just to just hang out, isn't it? Chilled out, no agenda. Probably a boring vlog, but there you go. As Due to you limited chat from you with your mask on. You, you say that, but I literally, <laughs> every time you put the camera down, I'm like, yeah! I'm like, oh, okay. What, no. being sick? <laughs> you literally can't tell, like, because of the facial expressions that got when you got your mask on. You can't tell what you're going to say. But, like, what you. I don't know, so I'm much is in pounce. facial expression. As, as if I'm about to pounce but, yeah. into some kind of crazy. Thing feeling going. festive. Are you feeling festive? Feeling uh, Christmassy? I mean, to be honest, it felt Christmassy, like, about four weeks ago at home. So, yeah. I, did, I went hard on the Christmas elfing this year. We're already festive. <laughs> we were also just talking about Christmas lights because obviously There's our, we went hardcore at home. I'm going to take this off now because there's literally nobody on the street. Okay. Um, but obscure. yeah, we went like in for the Christmas decorating at home and I feel like in the countryside, everyone in villages, like it feels like the village is like lit up. Yeah. Do you not it's, think like everyone's kind of like... gone crazy for it? But in London, I swear there's like not even as many lights as there normally would be. Literally. I don't know, weird. Miserable London. Weird. No <laughs> right, we are heading out for dinner now and we're just going to chat on our own. I'm not going to vlog it, but I'll see you guys tomorrow um, for a little Sunday catch up. And yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely evening. Merry Christmas evening. <laughs> Christmas. Merry Christmas evening. Merry Christmas two weeks before Christmas. Good morning guys. It is super bright and early today. We're actually on our way to Granger & Co for breakfast, which Such is nice somewhere so good. It's somewhere that I actually didn't have that good a night's sleep to be honest. I woke up at 6.30 because that's just like my body clock alarm time. Um, it's somewhere that is always busy. There's always a queue and I thought if we're having a really early lunch on a Sunday morning, or breakfast. there's a chance, <laughs> or breakfast, breakfast really early breakfast on sunday morning there's a chance we might actually get in and there might not be a 10 person queue, queue we're going around the corner there you the queue around the block there's no queue it's yeah. a good sign are they open though that's the problem it did say online that they were open basically they do these most delicious but they do really good pancakes the question is am i being good and get the delicious sweet corn fritters which are also very good or pancakes which they're pretty special, pretty special. Went for the fritters and they look so good. So much better than yours, not gonna lie. <laughs> we are on the road, on our way back to the little Bugsy. Can you believe, look at this miserable weather. It's probably like the worst day ever. But excited to be back on the road and excited to be lit, not really excited to be on the road, but excited to see Riv and excited to be listening to Taylor Swift's new album, which I haven't spoken about yet. Kind of a big deal for me, as you guys know. I'm a big fan. Um, really? I haven't got that. <laughs> Mike, hadn't, Mike hadn't realized. Not really awesome. um, basically, she dropped a surprise album on Friday, in case you missed it. And um, I just, I literally texted my friends. Well, all of my friends there also in Taylor Swift. Like, what the hell? Like, second surprise album of the year. Basically made Christmas. Um, so we actually just listened to the whole thing. I've listened to it a few times already before, um, obviously, because it's like three days after it's come out. But the issue is, like, whenever I'm listening to music, it tends to be, like, in my car, ribs in the car, like, watching cartoons or talking or we're in the house and playing with it. The, there's always just something else going on, so it's nice to actually sit down and listen to it. A couple of the songs are, like, super sad, like, and I feel like the album is quite sombre in general. Um, oh, goodness. But Folklore was pretty sombre as well, so I feel like, I, I, you know, I'm not surprised, but there's a couple of songs that actually like make me really sad. I just, <laughs> I don't really want to listen to them, they're that sad. Um, but I really, really love um, No Body, No Crime, Long Story Short, Evermore, I love. Um, and Marjorie, I really like. Dorothea, I really like. All the upbeat ones, I really like. There's a few on there that are like really nostalgic and country like vibes and just a little bit of a throwback to like early Taylor which I really really like um, and then just some really beautiful songs on there as well but it's quite a sad album it's quite 
somber. It's like hopeful but somber at the same time. Anyway, having a nice chill time listening to it. What did you think, Mike? You a fan? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful as ever. Good old Tay Tay. Um, but yeah, on our way back to the bug. Guys, we're back with the little munch who is currently having opening a Kinder Egg toy. Is it good, Riv? Very spoiled. I just got home to a delivery from Selfridges. I actually ordered this yesterday because Selfridges, I just, we just didn't want to go in because it was so busy and I've wanted some um, patent leather leggings for ages now and they just arrived. I ordered some from, from Commando. Went for size medium. They're actually re like a really nice fit and very comfortable, but oh my God, the noise. Like I literally, <laughs> we've just had a, Something of a comedy sketch, no, Mike? <laughs> Trying to get them off. It was literally, I, I'm i not very good at like that um, polystyrene plastic scrapey noise. And for a start, you cannot have any chub rub with these leggings. So like, even like, I tried them on, they look really nice, but then walking, it'd be like every two steps would be okay. And then it'd be like, a, <laughs> as they like go against each other. Not happening anyway, but then I came to take them off. Oh my god, taking them off is literally like Oh my god, it's the worst thing ever. I they are going back. It's not happening. <laughs> I think paint and leather leggings are not for me. I'm currently in the process of having a very professional manicure with Dior nail varnish. Worryingly, we just got a beautiful delivery from Dior. <laughs> and I, I just want sparkles. I think I'm not I don't really want red nails. But you do. Do I? Oh, can, danger zone. Can, can you so actually, she's it? done a pretty good job with these sparkles. Have you done something wrong? Mom? I've done something a bit wrong, have you? I think you're doing a pretty good job. Just on the nail, not on my finger. This is it's an interesting... Uh, I mean, it looks like I've been murdering somebody. What's going on here? Oh, oh, lovely. Oh. Yep. What are good. you asking? Christmas. What did I ask for for Father Christmas? I didn't ask for anything this year. Maybe some chocolates. I buy some chocolates. You're going to buy me some chocolates, are you? No, Father Christmas. Oh, Father Christmas is going to buy me some chocolates. What did you ask for? Um, a chocolate. You asked for chocolates too? I think you asked for more than that. River asked for a baby Annabelle, didn't you? Um, Again. That is a fantastic job. Mike has cooked up an epic dim sum gyoza bao bun feast. Oh dear, did you drop? Let me help you. Mummy got it. There you go. Oh no, got some. Been doing some crafting. River's finest crafting efforts over here. <laughs> I'm not sure entirely what's going on over here. Mike is watching the Grand Prix. We've got a casualty on the Christmas tree, guys. The lights have half gone out. Can I just point oh, out, I disaster. Did tell you, not to put those lights on the you did tell me, but we lost the other lights and then I found them, so I need to do that. I'm doing a little bit of a wrapping this afternoon. Actually, I'm finishing off my wrapping because I have nailed it this week. I am. <laughs> Mike's getting harassed. <laughs> Mike is getting absolutely harassed. I'm trying to watch the Grand Prix here. <laughs> oh, he's so cute, Rip. He's such a cute baby, Annabelle. Um, so basically, we bought this little vintage style car for our little nephew. Um, and I think it needs some assembly. I feel like we should assemble it before we give it to him, because he's only one. But I don't know how difficult it is and whether or not we should leave that to his dad. I don't think it's very hard. Do you want to do it? But I feel like in the box that it could... <laughs> I've tried to get Mike to do it twice already and he's avoiding it, basically. This is not what we like to see. <laughs> instructions. I think we should put it together though, because he'll be excited okay. if, you, if he gets this. He, he won't be excited if he gets a box, because he's only one. It's going to be so cool and vintage. We're currently learning a very big life lesson about Lulu's Christmas present. It's very cool, isn't it? But Riv wants to open it and play. And I've said, we can't open it because it's for Lulu for Christmas. And she's not very happy. Wow, that's super cool. Say good job, Daddy. Is that for your you going to get on it, Riv? Give it a Can you show it? us? I'm going to get on this side. Kind of standing in the way, Rivy. Wow. 
Oh. It's pretty cool. Got to break it. <laughs> we need to put a big ribbon on it for baby Kappa. So I just got the old red nail varnish back out and gave myself a proper manicure. It's actually the first time I've worn nail varnish in absolutely months. Um, I just thought, a little festive manny. To be fair, I've actually been quite enjoying not wearing nail varnish and my nails are so much stronger and more healthy. It's really good. Um, but I'm now cooking some sushi rice on the hob as that is what Little Miss has demanded for dinner, asked for for dinner. I can be sushi rice. Oh, do you want me to help you? Like mother, like daughter. Sushi wraps for dinner, doesn't want any help, but is also making bracelets. What have you got on this bracelet, Riv? What beads are those? Stars. Stars, yeah, just like mummy. Where are you, stars? <laughs> I'm just chopping up the fillings, and I have to say, this thing is one of those kitchen gadgets that you think is an absolute gimmick and ridiculous, and I laughed at Mike when he bought it, but it's Don't so good. I'll show you what it does. slices up avocado for you super super easily so you can have that like on toast or whatever you want but then also it just makes it I'm squashing it yeah it makes it so much easier just to squash it if you want to make squished avocado although this one is squished avocado this one's actually pretty hard to be fair but yeah you get the idea I don't like avocado I know you don't like avocado A girl after my own heart. Is that yummy, Riv? Mm-hmm. We're having a post-Sunday dinner. Chill out. Me and my me and my sausage over here. We've got the fire on. Mike and Riv are over there. And if you can't see the TV, we're watching the original, the classic, Home Alone 1. Just loving the 90s interior skulls going on in here as well. So good. It's not Christmas till you've watched Home Alone, is it? Um, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed Vlogmas Part 4. There's probably going to be two more, I think. So I will see you very soon. Say bye, pig. You going to say bye to everybody? <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, yes. Kisses for me. You are so funny. Bye.